Good Monday morning, everyone. This is Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for this Monday, March the 7th. Well, we had some nice weather here yesterday afternoon in the Northeast, and just another example of when things happen like that, you need to appreciate them. Appreciate what you have. We also need to appreciate especially what we have in what we can do for ourselves, for others, and for God. What are, what are our specific talents and skills and passions? So hold that thought, as you will, as we hear today's gospel, which is from St. Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 to 46. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels leave with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them from one another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you for the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me in prison and you visited me then the righteous will answer him and say lord when did you see we did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink when did we see you a stranger and welcome you or naked and clothe you when did we see you ill in prison and visit you and the king will say to them in reply amen i say to you whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine you did for me So we have this image of a glorious throne that Jesus talks about in the gospel. We can only imagine what it looks like, a glorious throne, a beautiful chair, if you will, a footrest, all the luxuries about it. But that's not what it is, <laughs> not at all. Jesus calls it a glorious throne because a glorious throne in his mind is where we offer sincere, loving service of ourselves in what we do in our life. Let me take my heroes, the animal rescuers of the world. Their glorious throne, their first one, is to absolutely spend every waking hour, take many, many sacrifices in their life, probably not be able to eat and drink properly, certainly not sleep properly, and serve the animals that are put before them that are in need. When that's finished, yes, they can move on to the next throne. And the second throne is to truly appreciate, and this is where they need to work on, truly appreciate when the ones that they saved and not the ones that they didn't. The ones that they were able to offer a drink as Jesus talks in the gospel today, something to give them life and to say, yes, this is my second glorious throne. How about all of us when we're not in animal rescue? Well, let's take what we do for a living. Let's look at the service that we're providing and let's look at how we could do just a little bit better. And then, most importantly, let's look and say, hey, yeah, that get back and I did give to those in need. I gave of myself. I did exactly what look, I should do and needed to do for the benefit of others. And that led me to the second glorious throne. Or these are the thrones that Jesus talks about. They, they may seem pretty, but they're not. And the second one may seem invisible, but it's not. So I'd ask you today, please share with me. What do you do in your daily life that you are going to try harder? to be that servant to the others that you serve. And then most importantly, tell me, yes, I will appreciate more of what I do. And then I will sit on that second glorious throne that God talks about. And I will enjoy it. I will see more of what I can do. And I will live in God's presence. So my friends, that's my message for you today. I hope you take it with you into your day. If it was helpful for you, I'd love for you to share it on your page. Please give me your comments. Remember, there's a little bit of a, of a challenge for all of us today. Please comment for me. Please continue to follow me at my website, joedwyerjr.com. 
Have a wonderful Monday, and I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Take care, everyone.